Viva la vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from vivalavegan.net and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not a subscriber, please make sure that you do and I hope to see you here at least every Tuesday when we have a new Vegan and Answer um, video series. This week's question is, there are no animal rights groups in my area, what should I do? Now, I've been vegan for over 17 years, as of January 2014, and I think one of the best ways if you're a new vegan is to create your own tribe of vegan people that you have things in common with and you really enjoy spending time with them. The best way that I found to do this um, when I first became vegan was to join the animal rights vegan and vegetarian groups that existed in my hometown of Brisbane, Australia. Um, when I when I first became vegan over 17 years ago, I joined the Vegetarian and Vegan Society of Queensland and Animal Liberation Queensland. At the time there weren't many people that were my age so I didn't really have much in common with any of these people. But after a few years after, um, when I started doing more social events and in particular with the vegan meetup groups. Um, I found a lot more people my age and a lot more people that had things in common with me. But if, however, there are not any groups like this in your area, then maybe it's time that you need to create one. So just work out in your head or write down on a piece of paper what you actually want to do with your group and how you want to achieve that. What are you good at and what do you need to get from people to make sure these things can happen? Put things down into like a one sentence um, elevator pitch type thing so you know exactly what you're trying to achieve and you can say this to people in a really quick sort of sentence and not only think about what you want to do and what you want to achieve but think about the way that you're going to make this happen and when you're going to make this happen so um, if say for example you're like really you know really into something and you do it every single every single Thursday night for three months you're doing something vegan related and then you're just completely worn out because it's taken up too much of your time and you can spare and then nothing happens for six months this is not good you need to think about consistency and you need to actually commit to doing something like this so say you can only commit to every um, Tuesday night every two months this is a really good start and you can do some really cool things in that sort of time. And like I said, stick, have the date and stick to these dates. Make the dates well known so that people can come along. And please don't be disheartened if you do something and only one or two people come. The more that you do it and the more often and the more consistent you are with these dates, the more people will come and tell their friends and get involved. I find that it's getting harder and harder to um, rely on people and to rely on volunteers. But you know, I guess the, the best way to do is to, to do that is to try and find out what other people like to do and what their passions are and get them to do those sort of things within your group. And together you can all start a movement in your hometown. And there are many successful groups all around the world that do sim maybe similar sort of things to what you want to do. So have a look at their websites, maybe ask a few people if you know any of them and find out some tips for them. Some of my favourites are Animals Igualdad in um, Spain, Animal Liberation all throughout Australia, Mercy for Animals in the United States, Animal Friends Jogja in Indonesia. <clears throat> and the list goes on. So um, see what they're doing and bring their passion and their spirit to your hometown and I'm sure you can create something good. And for all our animal friends, I'm sure they would appreciate it. And um, have good luck with whatever you choose to do. Make sure you share it with us and have fun. And I hope to see you next week with our next question and answer, which is what's the best source of iron? Until then, have a great week.